So we got out here this morning. It was a little chilly, but you can tell for the end of November, it's a beautiful, beautiful day here on Grand Lake. Kind of hard to catch the bait we wanted to, but we did finally make that happen. When we start shallow water fishing, it's more laid back, drop the anchors out, fan cast the boat, and hang on. It's challenging, but it's very rewarding. So in the winter time, I'll look for these catfish as the sun warms these flats up and we got a south wind going across. A lot of times I'll look at my mapping, but 2D I don't pay attention to the 2D part. I'm looking for my side imaging. I'm looking for these shadows, these reflections right here. Like this right here is a small fish, it's just off the bottom. That's what I'm doing is I'm trying to find that transition line. A lot of times when you're fishing this, you can see right here on the map, let me pull this over here. You've got this river channel right here. You've got this mud flat right here. This is an interstate. Them blues will get along this ledge because all this south wind is blowing. The wind is blowing right into this. So they're gonna use this as a freeway to feed. So we're gonna try to creep right up in here and that way we can still fish this deep channel ledge. Plus we're gonna be fishing in probably two and three foot of water over here. So let's see what happens. So when I'm anchored up shallow, I know this is a super muddy bottom. You see guys throw anchors out and stuff. I use this anchor like a plunge. Make sure you don't have hooks in your anchor rope. There's times we get tired, we've moved stuff around. It's just a bad way to get a hook in you. So all I do is I'll take this, I'm gonna drop it straight down. And you can tell we're only in about four foot of water. And that right there is stuck. So, all I'm gonna do, tie her up, throw a little half hitch in her, move my crate up here, and let's go catch some fish. This right here is about as plain as we can get. Just got an old sinker slide, 50 pound mono leader, and a hook. Let's go get a piece of bait on this and see what happens. It's very important to have fresh bait every day or you're not going to catch that many fish. In the wintertime, I want them big gizzard sheds. I want them big baits and I want them as fresh as I can. So, we're going to take that hook and we're going to hold it right there. We're going to go right up through that nostril. You can see that gut pocket right there is bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. What we're going to do is we know, let's looking on our grass, there's a ledge right out here and it's only about two foot deep. So, I'm gonna take this pole and get out of the way. And I'm gonna try to hit that ledge out there. About right there, that's the spot. So, I'm gonna set this rod in here. That, I always wanna make sure I pull it out of the mud. I can feel it. Okay, now I can feel them out of that mud. I wanna pull that bait so it straightens all that leader, straightens everything up. So, now all we gotta do is wait for a bite. And some of these rods like this, we can also use this dragon weight. <clears throat> That's an old piece of bait. We don't like our bait set that long. We're gonna take it off, put this bloody piece on. We're gonna come right up there, right in that meaty section and make sure the end of your hook is clean. And that way there, this is all open. With this structure snake, it works just like a regular four ounce weight. We're gonna cast it. Now this bait's gonna sit right on the edge of this river channel. So we're fishing 25 foot of water and two foot of water on the same anchor. In Oklahoma, you're allowed to use seven rods per person. I'm gonna try to keep it at six because I'm old and I don't move that fast anymore. Now, this is the way a lot of people like to catfish. We got them out. We're gonna kick back and uh, see if we can't catch one. So out here, shallow water fishing, and I use different rods for different scenarios. This is the heavy Boss Hog, and this is a 7.6 made by Meat Hunter rod. And this is really a universal catfish rod. You can fish big waters with it, the Mississippi River. You can also come out here and fish in two foot of water with it. 
And that's why I prefer 7.6 heavy rod. Like right now, we just casted this out and you can tell the sensitivity of that rod and feeling. I can feel that sensitivity of that bait, that sinker in the mud right through that finger. I like the Shimano Takatas. These are the 500 LCs. Here's what I like, it holds a lot of line. There's times I'll run four to 500 feet of line out and they're very good solid reel. The line counters work and plus you can still cast it a quarter mile if you want. And with the durability and stuff and the feel of my hand, that's what you want to feel. If it's not comfortable in your hand, then it's probably not for you. There's different rods, there's different styles. I can slide my finger up there and feel that bite the whole time. I can feel them waves right now hitting that line right there. When I'm fishing these spots like this, I always say 10 to 15 minutes and I won't sit past 25. If they're not gonna eat in that 15 minute range to 20, I'm not patient enough to wait on them. I know I've fished with guys that'll fish an hour on one anchor, two hours. I'm not that guy. So we're just right on the edge of the river channel. So we got the south wind blowing in here. We're on them river channel bends. I like bends and ledges. So when we're casting off right here, we're dropping right on these ledges. So I've got some of them out in the channel and I've got some up here in 20 foot. I've got some in 40 foot. So we're gonna see where the bite is. Blue cats are really aggressive, especially this winter time. They can't store fat, so they're ready to feed. A channel cat and a flathead could store fat, so they can eat and lay up. A blue cat constantly has to keep its metabolism up. That's why wintertime catfishing is so good. And we're getting ready to prove it right here. Oh, oh, there he is. Got him, got him. Feel that head shake right there. He ain't a giant, but he sure feel good. Oh, come here, he's running at us. There he goes. Oh. Look at that. Good old Grand Lake Eater right there. We're just gonna boat flip him in there. That's why we use 50 pound mono right here. Flip him in here. Look at that. He had been sitting there playing with that bait. It just shows you when they're not active. Look how long he rolled that around. We've been watching this bite for five minutes. I've told five stories, but he finally committed. And I was talking about circle hooks. See how it hooks in that side right there? You notice when I set that rod, I didn't even set it hard. You don't want to set it. You just slide it right in the side of their mouth. And you can see on this fish how beautiful he is. This is just an average size blue cat here on Grand Lake. This is what we call eaters. You can see where he's been laying in that mud. You just see he's just... But look how fat that fish is. But right here, guys, the beautiful Grand Lake blue cat. Shallow water fishing, baby. This is what we shallow water fish with a lot. And I always say, you know, keep it simple, stupid. I have to say that to myself. Guys, we're running a snail knot, a three-way swivel with a sinker. That's as simple as you can get. This right here is a Diachi seven knot hook. I use this hook everywhere. This right here is a structure snake. And this is just a plain three-way swivel. Don't overcomplicate it. That right there is really simple and it catches fish. And the most important thing with this setup is when you get that fish on, you just reel down nice and easy and you just apply pressure. You want that hook to turn in that mouth. Afternoon sun warming up a little bit, getting a little active here. Guys, we've had a great day out here catching nice eaters on these blue cats here on beautiful Grand Lake, Oklahoma here in Northeast Oklahoma. And you know, it's not about catching big fish every day. It's about making memories and having fun. And today that's exactly what we did. We made new friends today. We had fun and we caught a lot of good eaters. Come here. Look at that little guy. He cute. Look at that hook set. Flip him right up there. Look how fat he is. He almost looks like me. Little butterball. 